Hello, what's up, YouTube photographer Ronix Sweat and I try on this tutorial on how you can easily edit or color correct your images in Photoshop. And if at all you shoot in RAW or you are afraid of shooting in RAW, simply watch this video because I'm going to explain for you how you can easily edit your images when it comes to RAW processing in Photoshop. And if at all you use Lightroom as a RAW processing software, this video is also going to be benefiting you so simply hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe if at all you're not watching or if at all you're watching and you're not yet subscribed to this channel so with this we are simply going to come the very first step is locating the images that you want to edit and to import the photos to photoshop simply look at the images that you want to edit right click and come to open with and select the photoshop version that you want to use so for my case I'll right click and select Photoshop 2025 and as soon as you do that it's going to open up the camera raw filter so with the camera raw filter I'm using the version 17.0 so with this you can set this is the information this is the name of the image and the camera and the settings the image was taken are displaying right here so in order to edit or color grade your raw image when it comes to uh, Photoshop or Lightroom the very first thing is correcting the lighting and contrast issues. So for this, you can start the highlights a little bit clipping and the hot spots on the subject skin. So you are simply going to come to the highlights and take the highlight slider down. And you're going to do the same for the whites to counter the overexposed areas in this very image. And after doing that, the next thing is going to be coming right here to where you see contrast and we're simply going to add contrast to this image around 15 so depending on what you shoot in or the profile you shoot in i tend to shoot when the photos have no contrast and i tend to love to add contrast when it comes to post-production so I'll just come to the shadows and open up the shadows slightly and i'll add some blacks to the image so that it can have more of the contrast especially in the darker areas or in the blacks of the image and after doing that the next thing is going to be you are simply going to slightly take down the exposure because it looks a little bit overexposed so after doing that the next thing we are going to do we are simply going to scroll down to our color mixer adjustment layer in the camera raw filter so with this you can see that we have different colors right here so you are going to come to our color mixer and come to the hue saturation and luminance let me first of all explain for you what hue and what saturation and luminance are going to mean so hue when you're playing around with the hues we are changing a given color then saturation is the intensity of a given color and luminance is the brightness level of a given color so for example when you come to the hues and we play around with the hues for example of the blues for example in the sky we can either make the blues look like the aquas so when you're moving a given color towards left, the left hand side we are making that color look like a color below it or above it rather which is the aquas and moving it towards the right hand side we are making that color look like a color below it which is the purple so that is how the aquas is going to be working or affecting the image saturation is the intensity of a given color you can either increase on the intensity of a given color or you can reduce on the intensity of a given color and luminous is the brightness or darkness of a given color you can see how it is affecting the blues in the sky so that is how I can simply explain for you how hue, saturation and luminance are going to be affecting our processing step. So we are simply going to come to our luminance and first of all darken the blues slightly just like that. And after doing that we are going to come to our oranges and also darken the skin tone a little bit to have more contrast within the skin tone of the subject then you're going to come to the saturation because i i want the blues to pop a little bit more i know this is going to be subjective and most people may comment otherwise 
but I just want the blues to be vibrant enough. So I'll just come the saturation and simply intensify the blues by taking up the saturation slider. So I'll just slightly take it up just like that. I, th I feel like that is okay. Then I'll come to the hues so you can play around with the hues of the blues by making them more towards uh, the aquas. So I'm just going to put mine towards the aquas just like that. Then if at all we are to zoom into the image by using Ctrl plus and we anal analyze the skin tone, you can notice that the skin is a little bit or it has some of the magentas or it is more on the orange or yellow side and we just want to correct that. So under hues simply come to the oranges and we can either you are going to make the reds towards the oranges and that is going to make the reds more orange and we are going to make the oranges towards the reds just like that to slightly eliminate uh, that kind of yellowness from uh, the model skin. So I'll just take this a little bit higher just like that and I feel like this is okay. So if I told the effect of the oranges is too much just come the saturation and reduce on the saturation for example in the skin tone area of uh, the subject. So I'm just going to zoom out command minus so that you can look at the image at a distance. So this is the image before and after so far. So this is the image before, after, before, after. So if at all would love to make the blues pop a little bit more, we can simply come to the latest versions of Lightroom and Camera Raw have these masking features and you should always use them if at all you want to benefit more. So I'll just come and simply come and get the select back, background mask. So if at all you want to change or alter the colors, for example, in the background, you can do that or you can even select the subject independently. So we have selected the, the background and it really does a pretty nice job. So in order to work on the background, you are simply going to come. So you can see it has selected the background and you can as well hide the mask. So you can is instead make or increase on the saturation of the blues by taking up the saturation slider or you can as well cool down the blues a little bit just like that and it's going to make the blues pop even more than it was before. So this is the image before, after, before and after. So after you have done this, if I told you have a number of images that you want to edit in Photoshop, you can copy all these adjustments by coming right here and you copy the edit settings and select a new image and after selecting it come back right here and simply paste the edit settings and that is going to automatically paste those settings over or on that very image. So this is how you can easily process your raw images when it comes to Lightroom or Camera Raw. And when you're done doing that, you can now hit open after selecting all the images that you want to edit in Photoshop. You know that open the photos in Photoshop for you to do the final adjustments. Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching and see you need more videos on this channel. Don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.